Hey everybody, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to control your iMovie transition length for your videos. All right, so to start off, simply drag in the videos that you want onto the iMovie timeline. In this case, I'm going to transition between these two clips. So first clip is simply a guy driving around New York City, and the second clip is a drone view of the city. All right, so now let's go ahead and pick an effect. I'm going to go ahead and pick Circle Open first. And here, now you can also dr click and drag if you want to, but I simply just double clicked it. It should add it in as well. So this is the effects that we'll be manipulating. And right now you can see it is way too fast. So if you're gonna go ahead and double click this, you might get an error initially. So by going and change the duration to like, let's do 2.0 seconds, you might get something like this. The clips do not have enough media available to change the length. That doesn't matter, simply just click okay click out of that and we're gonna go ahead and instead use the precision editor so right click that transition instead of double clicking just right click it and click show precision editor now here we can manipulate the length of this transition using this rectangle so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the left and we can also change the length you can see that the numbers are showing us how long the transition would be like so let's do it around five seconds and as long as you have enough video to, you know, cover the length of the transition, you can do this as long as you want. So I'll simply set mine to five seconds long. So that's um, been set and simply just click the close precision editor. Now, if I go ahead and go back in, I'm going to zoom in for this. You can see that it now says 5.5 seconds and let's demonstrate. Now you can see that the circle is a lot um, slower when transitioning. So that's pretty good. We got what we wanted. Now let's go ahead and do one more example before we end the video. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this and add in a new transition. So let's, instead of doing the circle open, let's do a doorway. So this is how it would look like when we transition between the videos. Um, simply um, drag it in the video and let's go ahead and play it. So that's obviously that's way too quick. So I'm going to go and right click this and do something similar. So I'm going to drag that and let's make it about uh, now since we did five seconds earlier, let's do eight seconds this time. Eight seconds. There we go. Close the precision editor. And now you can see that it is about 8.5 seconds long. And let's demonstrate. So now the video is opening up like a doorway and it's much slower than it was earlier. So yeah. That's all you gotta do um, when it comes to the transitions. Now, if you wanna go ahead and do like, uh, like multiple in one video, just simply split the clip and then do something similar. Just drag in that doorway again, right click, and we can also edit it with the show precision editor. And then we can make it about like, let's do two seconds long, close it. So we have multiple transitions. Let's go ahead and sh show you again. So that's my first one. And we should have a second one soon there you go so yeah that's um you, obviously you don't have to do the same one you can do like a doorway i did the doorway for my second one but you can also do another one as well and also change the length that way so yeah thank you very much for watching that's simply how you um add in transitions between videos and also how you can manipulate the length of the transition all right so if you have any extra questions just comment down below but i will see you in my next video Raphael out